Royal savagely hit out at Prince Harry and Meghan after claptrap bombshell panda's absolute rot. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry were afraid of the consequences of speaking out about the royal family, according to a new report. The couple dropped bombshell accusations against their family in a CBS interview with Oprah that aired to the world in March. But in a new interview, a close friend of the couple revealed they were actually afraid of challenging the system. Prince Harry and Meghan also felt nerves about sitting down with Oprah, but thought they had no other choice to air out their grievances. As the pair entered their new Thrive chapter, they apparently don't have any regret over the path they chose. What started as a fairy tale romance became a story that reinvented the genre, a self-made, independent woman playing an equal role alongside her knight, the pal told the outlet. In the same article, Omid Scobie revealed that the thriving couple are really excited about the busy schedule ahead following the end of their parental leave. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex welcomed their second child Lilibet Diana in June. Scobie, the preferred reporter of the Sussexes, who co-authored their biography Finding Freedom, confirmed the pair will return to public life after keeping toxicity away. They're a couple who do very well in those moments of human interaction. They need to be on the ground, Scobie told. Although one of the main reasons for leaving the royal family was to get some privacy and to get away from the prying eyes of the public, Meghan and Harry are jumping back into it, just one year later. They seem to be existing in a different place, and that place is much healthier. The Meghan and Prince Harry interview with Oprah shocked everyone watching as they made some serious allegations against the royal family. Meghan claimed that Archie wasn't allowed to be a prince after there were concerns and conversations about how dark his skin would be after he was born. But the 39-year-old declined to say who had started those conversations, saying it would be damaging for them. Prince Harry said he would never share the full details of the discussion but that he was asked at the start of his relationship with Meghan, how dark the skin of their children might be. But Oprah Winfrey revealed it was not the Queen or the Duke of Edinburgh who made the comment about Archie's skin. Meghan also said that when she was suffering with suicidal thoughts, the family didn't allow her to get help. The Duchess of Sussex also admitted she had also battled mental health issues since joining the firm. A Buckingham Palace statement, on the Queen's behalf, shortly after the interview, said, The whole family is saddened to learn the full extent of how challenging the last few years have been for Harry and Meghan. The issues raised, particularly that of race, are concerning. Whilst some recollections may vary, they are taken very seriously and will be addressed by the family privately. Yet Harry and Meghan's recollections of events did not go down entirely well with everyone. Asked if she thought British institutions, not just the royals, were racist, she fired back. No, that is absolute rot. If anything it goes entirely the other way. I do not think it is racist. On the Meghan and Harry interview, can you imagine a court case where the jury only heard the prosecution in which there was no cross-examination and the jury was then invited to convict? She added, this is what has happened with this interview. He said, it's true. It seems that we have just got to believe Harry, there's no choice. A new chapter of Finding Freedom, an unofficial biography for the couple by royal experts Omid Scobie and Carolyn Durand, notes Meghan and Harry's reaction to the palace statement. The book quotes a close source of the couple, who were reportedly unimpressed with the monarch's recollections may very response to their racism claim. Meghan's pal added, months later and little accountability has been taken. How can you move forward with that? The Sussexes have insisted throughout that they had not collaborated with Mr. Scobie and Mr. Rand. The couple claimed that Kate Middleton made Meghan cry in a row over a flower girl dress. Prince Harry also spoke out about how he felt trapped in the family and that he and his father weren't speaking. They have frequently reiterated that the authors of the book do not speak for them. However, Meghan admitted in court documents last year that she did give information to the authors through an intermediary. It said the Sussexes have not yet been sent a copy of the new chapter, due for release on August 31st. Harry yesterday made his first public appearance since going on paternity leave after the birth of their second child Lilibet in June. A keen sportsman, he hosted the annual Santa Bale ISPS Hand Apollo Cup in Colorado. He announced a commitment to a $1.5 million donation to the charity, which will come from the proceeds of his tell-all memoir, set for release in 2022.